Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up your grade books. Now mine's going to look a little different because I don't have any courses, but I can go ahead and walk you through the steps and show you how to add grade books still. Um, when you clicked on the home screen, you would see all your classes here. Once again, I don't have any, um, but no matter what, you're going to click the grade book here on the left side. And it's going to take you to this screen and you could just click on add grade book. Um, you just need to pick the semester. So we're going in the spring semester, so I'll click on spring semester. Even if you're a year long class, don't click on year long. Um, it, it really messes up. It's not very good and it's totally not recommended to use that uh, box. Don't ask me why it's there, but we've just been told don't use it. Uh, then you're going to go down here and just select the correct uh, uh, term or course. So you can see here it's going to be spring, so I'll select that. And it automatically will fill this part in, the gradebook name. So that's a nice thing. And then what you're going to want to do is hit save. Now, you can go ahead and do that for every class. You can go ahead and hit add gradebook again if you want to. And you'll go through the process again. But if you saw, there is a mass add gradebooks. So let's see what that looks like. Click that on. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of my terms for spring. Click next. It's going to say what semester is this going to be. Once again, we want to just select a semester and then create the grade books. And you'll see all of my grade books have been created. Now, I'm just going to show some extra things here that could kind of help you out as we go along. So if all you want to do is see how to create grade books, we're good to go. I'm going to show you how to delete and link classes now. So you can see here, I accidentally created an extra grade book. Man, I messed up. Uh, all you have to do is go to manage grade book. And you can see here a delete button. That's it. Click delete and it goes away. And your class is gone. You'll see now that I only have these terms. Now let's talk about linking grade books. Click on the link grade books. And then what you're gonna wanna do here is just link the ones you want grouped together. If they're all zeros, that's not linking it. It's the default to be zero. It has to be at least a one. So I'm gonna link the first two classes, my second three classes, and then this four, the sixth one I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave alone. Click save. And you can see now my, my classes are now linked. And there they are. Once I link my classes, the next thing I'm going to want to do is set up categories. Because once your classes are linked, adding categories in one gradebook will go ahead and carry over to the others. So let me go to manage gradebook. And then I would go to categories. And this is where I would fill in all my categories. Uh, homework, uh, tests, projects, and hit save. Now, this is my first period class and it was linked with my second period class. So if I go to my second period class, you'll see the categories are already set up. So that's why we want to link the classes before we start doing this. As you can see, the color thing, you don't need to put in a color. I don't know what, what Aries is thinking by putting that in. Um, if you want to do weighted scoring, you have to click on this box and all your percentages have to add up to 100%. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. So that's a, a look at how to set up your classrooms or your grade books, I'm sorry, um, link them, delete them, put in categories. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I uh, hope this helps. See ya.